Hi, I'm Corolla and on Instagram I'm at from Corolla. In this video I'm going to do a writing and drawing sample using the newly released Techo Nib by CY aka Tokyo Station Pens on Instagram. CY's Techo Nib is part of Estherbrook's special nib program and I ordered the SD Nouveau Bleu directly from them. So this video is by no means sponsored by them. All my opinions in this video are my own. The Techo Nib is meant to be CY's take on the popular Naginata Toki, but ground for everyday use for the general journaler. And so I was really curious about the different line variations that the nib would give you depending on the angle that you held it at. My journaling style includes cursive, lettering, printing, and drawing, and so that's why I wanted to test this nib. And I use the Pilot Irushizuku Tsukiyo ink to sample the nib um, because I know how well behaved the ink is and how reliable it is. To do the writing and drawing sample, I used the Galen Leather Everyday Pad in A5 which is made of Tomoe River paper, it's fountain pen friendly, and it's just blank sheets, but I used a grid guide underneath just to give me um, some lines. And to test or um, write with the nib, I did a dip test. So I simply dipped the nib into the ink. Um, I didn't get too much ink on the nib itself, but just enough to write and draw with it. I tried four different angles to get um, line variations, and you are meant to play around with the different angles to find um, the one that you feel comfortable with and the line width that you like. And so I started with around 45 degree angle, and I drew two lines, um, and then I drew two lines at 60 degrees and at 90 degrees, and then I turn the nib over and that is meant to give you a needlepoint um, line. And it did and it even felt comfortable. I actually like needlepoint um, in certain situations. And um, I found that all the different angles, um, the nib wrote smoothly, which I was a little surprised at, maybe not, but um, it is meant to do that. So uh, I found that I liked all of the different line variations, different angles. I felt most comfortable probably at the 60 degrees, which kind of gives you a fine um, point. And um, writing at the different angles too felt really nice. Overall, I found the nib really fun to write with. And I can, I can see myself journaling with it um, in different ways. So, you know, you can use the broader line to write a header or um, do, some, do something to focus on. And then um, the different angles to print and just write some context. And so, yeah, it was fun to write with. And then in the end, I also drew with it. So stay tuned for that. So something I would call out is that depending on the angle that you hold the pen at and that you naturally write at, um, it will give you different line variations. And so I found that when I held the pen at the angle that I would write cursive, the line was a little bit broader than I'm used to. So I don't know, it might take some time to practice with it or I might just use it for printing but I liked the different line variations. I just found really cool that the nib um, can give me four different line widths. So that's cool. Here's the drawing sample that I did with the nib and I angled the pen differently just to get different line variations within the drawing itself. And so you can kind of see um, how they vary in the drawing. And I found that very fun and um, cool, a cool technique to use. I even turned the pen over to get the needlepoint tip. Um, I don't know if I'll draw that way, but it was kind of fun to do that. So overall, I have to say I found the Techo Nib super fun and really interesting to write and draw with. 
and I think CY did an amazing job with this um, special nib. And I also love the pen itself. It is such a lovely pen from Esterbrook, the SD Nouveau Bleu. So let me know what you think. Um, would you try this nib out? Uh, do you find it interesting? Let me know in the comments. I'm Corolla on Instagram. I'm at from Corolla. See you next time.